Servus! Welcome back, everybody. So, CJ has just jump scared us, and we're gonna ask him a few questions about the demon's death. So, let's just get straight into it. Please do not cross. I cannot interact with this, so I exit. This does not. Oh, it's just a sticker. I thought this might be a clue. You. Are those not clues? What is that? A library. Oh, CJ. Gumball library card. Getting suspicious. I know you were in the library the day Dean Strawberry died. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did. Great, what happened? They changed the bathroom scent from strawberry to pine. I'm sorry, his voice is all over the place. It was most unpleasant. Oh, is that all? I intended to alert the librarian as a matter of urgency, but no one was at the front desk. Quite unusual. Was there anyone else in the library? No, just the and I until uh, I uh until you left. It's not like you leave your research lying around. Why were you in such a hurry? I uh, lost track of time. I was late for an appointment. An appointment where? Appointment? What are you talking about? You said you were late for an appointment. Objection! Leading the witness. This isn't a trial, CJ. It's just me, Jenny. Then I have nothing further to say, Your Honor. <laughs> There's something you're not telling me. Is there? Familiar notes. Those scribbles look familiar. I found your map of Rotherton in the library. Keep it. It's a great map. Very rare. Ripped straight out of the Talon Charter. First edition. Come to think of it. Only edition. What about all your notes? Don't you need them? Nope. Got it all backed up in the cloud. What cloud? Did I say cloud? I meant head. <laughs> so, what do all those notes mean? Shadow men. Who are the shadow men? Yes, you're starting to see differently. There are patterns everywhere. Keep searching. Man, I really like CJ. He's kind of he's kind of a maniac, and I respect that. I very much respect that. And it's just a sticker. Nothing is suspicious. Why aren't your blobbylings suspicious? I'm missing two clues and I I can't find them. This again. What happened to your compass? Before I was wondering, but now it seems to be pointing in one direction. Exactly. Do you see now? It's not a compass at all. So, what is it then? Aliens! <laughs> Aliens? What are you talking about? ET, extraterrestrials, beings from another world. I know what aliens are. Come on, CJ, there's no such thing. What? No! Not you too! I'm sorry, CJ, but it's time to get serious. The date is dead, and my mom is in jail, framed for a murder she didn't commit. I need to get to the truth. The only way to truly see is to open your mind. Not everything is what it seems. If there really are aliens in Arthurton, how come you're the only person who's ever seen them? People don't see what they're looking for. That's why I come here every night to observe the unobservable. The compass is my eyes. It can sense their present where I cannot. Why don't you borrow it and find out for yourself? Take the compass. You can always sell it if you don't need it. Okay, I'll take it. I need all the help I can get. Good, you can prove my theory to be fact. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
Just remember, when the needle is steady, the phenomena are near. Sure. They were here before. They will return, and we'll be waiting for them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Totally. Okay, but I'm still missing one thing. What are you hiding from me, CJ? The man. CJ, the manly man. CJ, the alien. Australian. Your crotch area seems to be just fine. Your knees are just weirdly lighted. A lot of bottles. Where the heck is my last clue? You've already found it, didn't, don't you, chat? I'm just wondering. Having no idea. Uh huh. What are you in a fight? Suspiciously large brutes. What happened to your eye? Did you get in a fight? It wasn't a fight, more of a, a misunderstanding, really. A seriously purple misunderstanding. Well, you should see the other guy. CJ, this is serious. You have to tell me the truth. I had to do it, Jenny. They needed to learn. CJ, is this a confession? Well, you were going to find out anyway. CJ, did you murder Dean Strawberry? The Dean? Oh, no. But you just said... Good, Jenny. Suspect everyone, even me. I don't understand. In fact, I suspected myself for quite some time, but I couldn't have done it. I want to believe you, CJ, but do you have an alibi? That's why I left notes for you. If anyone can prove I'm innocent, it's you, Jenny LeCru. Hang on a second. Let me take a look at that. Jenny, I need your help, CJ. You know, we could have saved a lot of time if you'd just given me this message first. And risk being followed? Never. But what had piqued Jenny's interest was not the message itself. That paper! What did you... what did he write all these messages on? Oh, okay, and I can... rotate them. Actually, actually I want a different squiggle. Yes, thank you. Rotate. This belongs in the top quadrant. Oh, they just snap right into place. Interesting. That takes a bit, you know, the, the, the fun out of the thing. If it's just gonna snap right into place. But that is kind of... No, oh, that's not right, okay. That looks like this one. Okay, this is down here. all these messages on a piece of newspaper. Local idiot ruins school play. Parents feared for children's safety and grades. The taste you'll die for. Keep an eye out for brand new coffee cards peddling beans all over town. Jenny couldn't help it. Every time she thought about coffee, she saw Keith's face. She heard his voice. She remembered his sadness. And she promised not to rest until she'd uncovered the truth of his father's death. Thursday evening edition. That's the day of the Dean's murder. Yes. The Atherton Times. Cover story continues as the only witness and prime suspect, Mrs. LeClue, is being held without bail at the Atherton City Jail. Mrs. LeClue has not given any comment and has refused legal counsel when offered. Due to the nature of the case, Sheriff Winston LeClue has distanced himself from all proceedings in order to maintain a perimeter to limit the conflict of interest and uphold the law and justice to the full extent possible. Interesting. The front page was missing, but even this small snippet worked, Jenny. They've been peddling lies about my mom right from the start. 
Sheriff Winston LeCou has distanced himself from all proceedings. But if you won't help her, I will. An avocado <laughs> heights school play and parade about the founders' profits and was ruined by one town in Indian's ramblings. The man identified himself simply as CJ. Witnesses to the terribly misguided man misguided man's rant <coughs> claimed that after he ran onto the stage, he began yelling at small innocent child dressed as an acorn, later identified as Sheldon Petri. Witnesses recalled the crazy man barking, they are lying to you, they don't know what they're talking about, the truth is up there, and frightened chat. This photo was taken in Avocado Heights. That's on the other side of the town. Miles from the library. Principal Bailey, who had been watching from the side sidelines, wrestled the man off stage and away from the now arrested. <laughs> but I like the image of him wrestling the man off stage and away from the now crying children. The man then ran through the streets shouting, They're trying to shut me up, they're trying to shut me up. One parent replied, Maybe it is time someone did. Police arrived soon after, and although it was a bit of a struggle to catch and arrest the man, police eventually managed to book him on charge of disturbing the peace. Another parent claimed it was the best show I've ever seen at the school, although the bit about the aliens was a bit far-fetched. <laughs> okay, scene of tears and terror. Okay, oh, and there's an image of the time. 3.55, clearly the afternoon. Flip it! Yeah, that is... That is that. Okay, then we we'll flip it again. Okay, I'm missing one thing. What am I missing? He already had the bruise. CJ was always protesting something. The first time they had met, CJ had handcuffed himself to a bike rack outside Agatha Christie's bakery. He was convinced they were hiding something in the pies. He lost the key to his handcuffs, so I picked the lock for him. They had been friends ever since. CJ couldn't have killed the Dean, all the evidence is right there. It's a case of the dead Dean, so we're right back on it. How can I prove CJ is innocent? Uh, the clock, avocado hides, and the newspaper edition. I'm making a deduction. CJ was photographed, photographed in Avocado Heights at 3.55 p.m. on Thursday, two minutes before the Dean died. There's no way CJ could have killed him. So, we did it. Nice. CJ, you're innocent. What a relief. But you really shouldn't be going around town terrorizing children. They're going to end up in jail again. That would be so bad. They have the best bands in town. Even part of my being is telling me that my mom is being framed. But I don't understand why. There are only three reasons a man is murdered. He didn't mind his own business. He couldn't keep his mouth shut. Or he wouldn't keep his hands to himself. <laughs> ever heard of a place called Widow's Drop? I think my mom met the Dean there. Widow's Drop? No, but it sounds suspicious. Anything sounds suspicious if you say it like that. Be careful, Jenny. Don't do anything to keep their secrets. Once you start to see things, there's no going back. And ever wonder why the lake glows at night? Or why the power keeps going out all over town? Yes, I do, all the time. There's a lot more to this town if you look below the surface. Do you mean that literally or figuratively? Yes. The truth is hiding right under our feet if we only step to look. I'm more confused than when we started. Well, I really have to get to my house. The case won't solve itself. I can drop you off at the bridge. No need. I'm staying here. Some of the worst rocks have moved. Never trust a crap with a man's job. A mysterious message. Be careful, Jenny. They are everywhere. Always watching. Don't worry about me, CJ. They'll never see me coming. I sneak in silence. I creep in the shadows. My footsteps are whispered. <laughs>
Yep. Damn it. <laughs> I've got this. Don't worry. Poor boat. That'll buff out. Maybe you shouldn't drive backwards. I can't drive in reverse. I'm really bad at driving in reverse. Jenny headed east towards the almost done bridge. I can dock there and make my way through the Forgotten Forest without anyone seeing me. Sneaky! I really like the character CJ, but this new voice I gave him because I completely forgot what the old one sounded like. It has really hurt my throat. <laughs> okay. Wait a second. Where do I change the tab to see? Okay. Is there nothing to... Okay. Okay, well then. Well then, I gotta get this boat out of here. Sure is fun to hit stuff. Yeah, it is. But I'm actually trying really hard not to. I mean, why are there? Why are they on the middle of the path? No, I don't. But here she's super speedy. Where am I? <laughs> this is normal. This is not what's supposed to be heading at me. But that was the nine post. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. Beer Craw Bend. On our way to the almost done bridge. Um, thank you. I'll take that one. had to be here for a reason. I guess I've missed a few that I could have gotten. I got another sticker! Some cute lighthouse. Too speedy, too, too speedy, too speedy. I think it's trying to help me, letting me speed sometimes and sometimes not. But it comes quite a surprise sometimes. Almost done. Oops. No, 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 uh huh, uh huh, yeah. Better. Boop, leave Lake. Let's go to my house. Leave. There might be more secrets that we could get, but I think we don't need many more secrets. Secrets. Still at quiet on the far side of the lake. No one ever comes down here. Not since they stopped repairing the bridge. Oh, this swipe almost done. And yet it was hard to shake the feeling of being watched. This is CJ's fault. He really believes all that stuff. Once he starts to see things, there's no going back. I wonder what he meant by that. Oh, 
this is where we started. Where was it? That that man started. Oh, that is a pretty sticker. I'm a sticker club enthusiast. Yes. Read sign. Forgotten Forest Trail. Voted most likely place to be eaten by bears. Atherton Gazette. That well, that that sounds like a place for me. Another power shortage. Yep. Perfect. Just as I'm about to enter the spooky woods, <laughs> the good folks at Authorship Power and Light were not easing Jenny's fear of the dark. Of course, this was the very reason curfew had been put in place. <laughs> like, it's like, shut up. <laughs> Enter the Forgotten Forest. And we have electricity back. Interesting. Ouch. You know, glasses and headphones is always a bit of an ouchy combination. Jenny's imagination ran wild. In the darkness, every sound was a threat. Every shadow a monster. Run, Jenny, run. But she was nearly home. Just a little further. Oh my god. That is so beautiful, but incredibly creepy. Are those fungus, you know, mushrooms? And the crowds. Spooky trees that look like faces. Bioluminescent mushrooms. This is very nice. But if I were Janie, I would be so terrified. I would be so done. Um, yeah. 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 Bam. And no going back. Great. And now it's getting foggy. What happened to the bridge? It's a good question. It looked like Janie had reached a dead end. She had no choice but to return to Susie's house for a comforting mock hot chocolate. I'd rather plummet to my death. So, we're taking chances, are we? You have no momentum to jump. was a terrifying drop to the rocks below. Surely she wasn't contemplating jumping across. Mom always says a great detective takes calculated risks. So let's do the mop. Calculate my chances. Okay. Six feet. Badly damaged. The bridge is too weak for a running jump. Strong tail, wind, possible close record land. Taking into account the strong tail, wind, and factoring in my athletic prowess, or lack thereof, I could make that jump two out of three times. Mm. Not bad odds. Terrible odds. Well, here goes nothing. Uh oh. Are you okay, Jenny? I don't think she is. Oh, she is! Okay, maybe the odds weren't so good. <laughs> and now she was dangling from a splintered plank, one slip away from certain death. It's just like climbing a tree. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Am I not climbing down? Because I don't think climbing upwards is the way to go. Damn, the musical suspense. This 
bridge really is in that shape. Holy. Holy macaroni. There's been lots of broken stuff. Another scrap. Is it just a postcard? I'm not sure you want to know. Oh, I can. I can put it together now. It's not this side, then it's maybe this side. Couldn't that be Widow's Drop? Huh. It um, has Skull Island on it. Uh -huh. Hi mom, summer camp is going great. Uh, we took a field trip to the observatory last night. I've never seen so many stars. Ricky knew all the constellations, he's so smart and super cute and, and he held my hand so don't worry he's only two years older than me, please don't tell that. Oh, hey I wasn't done examining this. Oh, what's uh, there, there's that dragon thingy. Interesting, interesting. Who is Stella though? Did we already need her? to go down? I thought I was supposed to go down. God damn it. This could take a while. <laughs> Was this the end for our tiny hero as his mindly muscle began to give away an image placed before Jenny's eyes? Her mother, dangling from a ledge, unable to pull herself to safety. How could she possibly save her family when she couldn't even save herself? I can't give up now. Mom needs me! <laughs> Easy. Jenny had barely survived. Was she really prepared for the dangers that lay ahead? It's too late to turn back now. Biggest bridge forgotten, forest broken. How did that happen? I nearly died. <laughs> it might have been her recent brush with death, but Jenny's heart was pounding in her chest. That's not my heart. That's the compass. Needle is shaking like crazy. Kick damage tree. Hoo yeah, hoo yeah, hot job. Ah, nailed. already almost died today. Dangly vine. 
time. Like how she flutes <laughs> when she jumps. Okay, so I'm back on track. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Clap that bitch. Clap that bouldery, bouldery, bouldery. Clap. Clap. I don't like that I don't see where Jenny's going. Hello, thank you. Okay. Well, there is a hole in there. She's not falling. Oh, I expected her to fall. Okay. I don't know about you, Jenny, but I am getting quite hungry. There's something under there. Not a needle in a haystack, but it's something in a leaf stack. A bolt. Jenny had spent her whole childhood exploring the woods behind her house, but I've never seen this before. Then she remembered CJ's words. People don't see things they're all looking for. She knocked on the rusty metal. Hollow. It's a trap door. Uh, I want the sticker, thank you, because it looks badass. And there's a button. What a strange device. The wires are connected to that door. Oh, I did that. I already did one of those. Okay. This one does only that. This one does this and that and then there's so I gotta get this one aligned first then this one and then nope 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 uh -huh. this one bam I've looked at that strange symbol. Oh, that's not a symbol, that's a screw, number one. A stale metallic odor filled the air as Jenny peered into the opening. It sure is dark down there. Too dark. But I, I can't just leave this unexplored. I, I have to see where it leads. And so Jenny descended blindly into the unknown. If I could sing, I would, but I'm not gonna do this. <laughs> and actually, we're gonna leave it at that. Because, um, because I say so. <laughs> and we're gonna explore this dark nothingness in our next episode tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Bye bye!